Do you like flan? I like flan. Who doesn't like a flan? Let's go make a flan the traditional way. Creamy and delicious. <music> Let's take a look at the ingredients that we need for today. And a quick fact, did you know that flan originated in Rome? Yes, it did. And when Rome fell, it came over to Spain and then all the way to us. And it's still prominent today and thank God it is. Okay, we start with a pan. You can get this pan at any Latin grocery or online at Amazon. And you want to start out with five tablespoons of sugar. And you have to make sure that it's white sugar. From there, we're going to add one to two tablespoons of water, closer to one. You just want to kind of get it in there. And you're going to start to watch till it turns brown. And this is sped up, but as soon as it starts to turn brown, which you can see down in the corner, we're going to start kind of mixing that around. Now, you don't have to add water, but you have to worry about it burning. This kind of speeds it up a little bit. Once it starts to car uh, caramelize there, start to spin it around a little bit and again we're watching to make sure it doesn't burn if it burns it's all over game over we'll keep going for a little bit we want to turn this mostly brown it's gonna be on a medium to high heat keep an eye on that we really can't let this burn and you can see now it's Getting to the point where we're just about done with this. We're gonna spin it around again. And what we're gonna try to do here is get it up along the sides about the height of the flan. So probably about halfway, maybe a little bit less. And you'll see I start to spin it. And here you go, it's a good view. Now again, this is sped up, it's gonna be a lot slower, but let's just slowly bring that down. You see that line forming? That's what we want. We want to make sure it's that. Then we're going to add a can of condensed milk. And followed by a can of evaporated milk. Now you can add coconut milk if you want instead. If you want coconut flavoring, which is quite delicious. You want to fill up that can of condensed milk to have the right proportions. We're then going to add five eggs to the mixture. Now any blender will do. I'm using a Nutribullet here, but any blender will do. Once we get the five eggs in there, we're going to add uh, some vanilla extract. One tablespoon of vanilla extract, or a little bit more if you kind of like it, a little bit more flavored. Then two to three tablespoons of cornstarch and rum, about a tablespoon if you prefer to have a little bit of rum in it for more of a traditional flavor. Gonna mix it all together and let's add it to the flan, which is now off the heat. I forgot to mention. Take that off the heat once it starts to get to that point one. Pour it nice and carefully in there. See how it comes right up to that line. A little bit over. But not bad. We're gonna seal that lid. And then we're gonna add it to what's called the baño de maria, which is just basically some water which is about halfway up and then set our timer to one hour I'm gonna bring this to a boil again over medium heat and we'll come back in an hour later and check it guess what it's an hour let's take it out we carefully take it out remove it from the heat and we're gonna place it on a stand okay we're gonna let it rest on a stand for 30 minutes and guess what 30 minutes are up Let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. As we open it up, nice and carefully, we hope to see this. This is almost perfection, a little sunken in the middle, but I'm not gonna complain about it. I'm back in the fridge for one to two hours. I took this out after one. Maybe should have left it a little bit longer. I'm gonna take a knife, a nice thin knife, and go around the outside so it'll slip right out of the case. Put a plate on top, and then carefully flip it over.
like today's video, I hope you give it a try. It's really not that hard to make and it really is good. And you could kind of tweak it to what you're actually looking for. So I hope you like this. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell notification. A lot more videos coming out. I do this for fun and I appreciate knowing what you think about it. So please put a comment down there and again, like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.